Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Alvarez is so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Smith's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's going to win. Miss the body shot. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Smith. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good defense, just covering up down low. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Get in there. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He just missed that shot up top. there by Alvarez accuracy an issue there didn't land that straight right hand work in the body. scores up top with a left Alvarez's movements really helping him out avoiding that punch Place left hand up top. Not an accurate hook at all. Final 10 seconds of round number one.
this round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. Just needs to shorten him up. Your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? No. Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Here we go. Round two is underway. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. and it does damage. Good job, buddy. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Body shot lands, it was the right. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Halfway through this round. Alvarez's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Macho's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Right hand downstairs. Blocks that belt line well. Now hugging on the inside. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Nice. Alvarez is able to nice. land a good, solid left hand. Machos crushed by that shot to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just, just keep boxing smart. Okay, breathe in. Take a deep breath. Okay, listen. You can throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. There you go. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time. And round number three is underway. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Now he ties up there. Good work defensively by Alvarez. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, the and line. then he timed him beautifully. Keep moving, keep moving. Get him, get him. Move your head.
See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Schmidt. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. What a sharp, piercing hook by Macho. Punch was very effective. He scored well. Nice work by Macho. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Focus! Good looking right hand after he got hit. Took a shot, now he gives a left. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. Alvarez's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Good way to protect the midsection. Count down the final moments of this round. Smart jab by Macho. And that does it for this round. But he misses with a punch. Count. Here you go. Jab the old way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. This is turning into a wasted effort here as we reflect on the first three rounds. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. He's jumping all over him now. Alvarez is nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. by Alvarez. <laughs> Frustrating his opponent with great defense. He took a shot, but he gets Alvarez is dazed after that punch. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Relax, relax. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Oh. Keep your head moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Not hitting Body his mark shot. there going Body upstairs. Smith's defense is paying off now. Really frustrating his opponent now 
Macho's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Solid right hand by Alvarez. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. So we come to the end of the round, and that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner, and they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing and remember what set up those big shots. Look, you stand straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down and to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Where there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Focus. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Alvarez. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Alvarez. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning.
I want the combinations. You land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close for you to be lazy with our punches. You understand? Listen, your best defense. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. Off target with that hook. And bang, and away he goes. Macho down. First knockdown of this fight. It's going to be interesting to see how he recovers here. This trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Hold him, Stanton, hold him! Clinch, clinch! Move your head! Get me, get me. Able to get away from the ropes. Macho's really impressing us here, defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing. Did you see that? This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. It's over. The fight is over by Ricardo Alvarez. His opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Teddy, it ends the way most fans want it to end. Not in the hands of the judges, determined by the fists. He's a knockout victor. Well, exactly what fans are always looking for. It's kind of like walking into a room and there's somebody hidden behind the door and they hit you on the head. You're going to go out cold because you don't have time to register it. You don't have time to prepare and brace for it. He never saw this coming. Out of the blue. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.